Hi guys, welcome to a Reflex app. So in terms of the uh, specification, uh, we were already looking at the uh, responses like taxis, kinesis and tropism, and now we will be looking at the simple reflex. So um, in terms of the structure of the nervous system, this is divided into uh, two, uh, two parts. So we've got the central nervous system, which involves brain and spinal cord, and we've got the peripheral nervous system. So th this is uh, made of the pairs of nerves uh, that organize from either the brain, uh, originate sorry, from either the brain or the spinal cord. So uh, the peripheral nervous system can be then divided into two. So we've got the sensory uh, neurons, which carry nerve impulses. Uh, from receptors towards the central nervous system or we also get the motor uh, nervous system and the motor neurons they carry nerve impulses away from the central nervous system to affect them. So when we're looking at the motor nervous system it could be uh, divided further. So it could be divided into voluntary nervous system and autonomic nervous system. So the voluntary nervous system will carry nerve impulses to body muscles and uh, it's under voluntary control. But when we're looking at the autonomic nervous system, this carries nerve impulses to glands, smooth muscles and cardiac muscle, and it's not under voluntary control, so it's involuntary. So what is then a neuron? A neuron is a nerve cell uh, which is made of the cell body, uh, axons, dendrites, which will, uh, uh, which is adapt, okay, the neuron cell is adapt to conduct action potentials or generate potentials. So in terms of the neurons, we've got three main types, which we've mentioned. So sensory neurons, so they will take uh, uh, nerve uh, messages uh, from a sense organs to the spinal cord. Normally, they have long dendrites and short axons. We've got motor neurons, so they take away uh, nerve impulses from spinal cord to a muscle fiber or grand. And normally, they've got short dendrites, but long axons and relay or intermediate neurons. So they will take a message from sensory uh, to motor neurons. So they are in between. So most of the uh, neurons are actually intermediate neurons. So here we've got a question. So the diagram shows a part of the pathway involved in the reaction. And we've got a finger here, we've got a muscle and we've got spinal cord. So the question is to complete diagram to show the rest of the simple uh, reflex arc. So what's missing here? So we've got the uh, uh, three missing neurons. So you can think now about them. So the types of the neurons that we mentioned a few seconds ago now, you need to apply to this question. And you need to name and label those neurons and you need to label the effector. So we've got the sensory uh, neurons because this shows you the reflex arc. So, uh, so it, that's the response. So uh, three neurons that we need to label. So we've got the sensory neuron here. We've got the uh, uh, intermediate neurons here. And we've got a motor neuron which will take a message from the spinal cord to the, uh, to the effector, which is a muscle. So to label that the effector, obviously effector, it's a muscle. So spinal cord, what it is, it's a column of nervous tissues uh, that runs along the back and lies inside the uh, vertebral column for protection. And there are pairs uh, of nerves. So uh, this is the spinal nerve, for example, here, okay, and uh, the reflex actin, it's obviously, as we've seen on the past paper, the question is the simple type of nervous response to a stimulus. And uh, there are characteristics of them. So they involve only three neurons. So the sensory uh, relay intermediate uh, neuron and motor neuron, it's immediate. 
So it's a really fast response. So imagine you are touching the really hot kettle, your hand it's going to move away straight away. So that will uh, that will increase the chance uh, to survive, of course, and protection. So it's involuntary. So we've got no choice. Okay. So again, the example with the kettle. So uh, they, this is the specific uh, response to a specific stimulus. So it's always the same. So like kettle, you're always going to move your hand away and uh, innate. So this is already genetically programmed. So we're not going to learn this. Okay. So it's uh, going to take place straight away. And so then the importance in terms of the past paper questions, those are the most common things that they're asking for. So make survival more likely, which we've mentioned already, it's involuntary. Okay, so the actions do not need to be considered. They are already, they are already programmed. And in terms of this involuntary, where there's no decision making, okay, it's a rapid and powerful uh, response, okay. So it, the, this response is always going to be the same. And it protects the body from harm, so uh, it's not learn what we've said before, and it's really fast because it always usually uh, involves like three neurons. So the uh, number of the synapses involved in this will be usually between uh, one and two, two if there are obviously three uh, neurons. So uh, the, again, just to summarize, those are the main features of the reflex arc. So that's the past paper question that we were doing before. So uh, here uh, from the receptor, so for example, it could be, you know, the uh, hot kettle, so the sensory neuron will be sent, okay, a sending message uh, joined with the intermediate neurons, which we can find in the spinal cord. So those are the neurons in between, okay, that's the uh, intermediate neuron. And then from the spinal cord, from the intermediate neuron, to motor neurons straight to our effector, for example, muscle. Okay. So uh, to summarize this, there is a six marker question explain how a reflex arc works. So uh, the question was here based uh, on the receptors in the finger and the uh, stimulus was a pain. OK, so. Right. Uh, so the pain receptors in the finger send, uh, the sends the pain and stimulate the sensory neuron so this is neuron number one once the sensory neuron has been stimulated an electrical impulse will travel along its length to the spinal cord so the sensory neuron now it's connected to intermediate neuron through the synapse and the intermediate neuron is triggered by chemical messengers which in turn triggers the motor neuron so we will be looking at the synapses at the acetylcholine in our next videos to explain how does that actually take place. This stimulates the effector organ, for example, biceps muscle and the intermediate neurons also sends a message to the brain so it knows about the actions that are being taken. Okay, so one more time for the reflex arc. Remember, it's a fast uh, involuntary uh, response involves free neurons, sensory neurons, intermediate neurons, and motor neurons. Obviously, in between those, we've got synapses, but that's another topic. And uh, it's a really fast response. Right, so that's everything for the reflect arc. See you later.